in the previous video we have just uh, implement uh, created an adjacency matrix program in which we are we have given an input and just printed the adjacency matrix so with the help of that adjacency matrix now let's try to find the bfs so firstly uh, what is bfs bfs is known as bread for search so we are um, what we are doing in bread for search is we are um, getting an first taken an input from the user from which we want from which node we want to start from which vertex we want to start suppose the user enters one then we have to print like that or the nodes adjacent to one are zero to two so then zero then two so now one is printed and one is deleted from this queue uh, this is actually queue when we implement it in our program then you will get to know then it will search for this zero so the nodes adjacent to zero are one two and four but one is one and two are already in the queue means they are visited so in this way uh, so it will insert four then for two there is a new element called now three okay so the bread bfs is one zero two four three so there are number of possibilities i can i whether i can also write one two zero rather than zero two okay then two zero then the nodes are sent to two as well so i hope you will hear you have a clear idea about this so let's try to implement this in our program so for that uh, what I am doing is I am just deleting this ok now I am creating a function that is void bfs in the bfs I am taking add just add sorry integer add add just and matrix number of vertices dj star from which node we want to start okay just two we need inside it uh, i will just get an array of visited whether to track the particular node is visited or not so we will uh, require more variables then we will take them okay for zero i just to initialize visited array to zero number of vertices is i plus plus so visited of i is equal to zero okay just i want to initialize it with zero i think this font is visible okay so for the bfs what we are doing here is Oh yeah, how so now as I have told here we are using a queue. So here I have queue number of vertices front is equal to minus one initially, rear is equal to also minus one initially. So I am calling if whenever I am calling this function first then the st I have to start from this particular uh, from a particular node so I will insert that node into the queue so queue of rear plus plus rear is equal to start and as front is also pointing to minus one just increment front uh, this is not I am not deleting here okay I'm just uh, okay, yes. what I am doing is whenever I am calling this first time the front should also point into the first element as well okay as it is pointing to minus one so now there are elements there is one element in the queue so while the queue is not empty so what we are um, what is the uh, situation for that the situation for that is front is greater than rear okay or while okay front is less than equal to rear 
so while the front is less than equal to your rear means till the array uh, till the queue has uh, any value in it till that this will loop will run so now uh, we have start uh, one on uh, one variable that is start okay and just print here person d backslash t just to sp uh, get a space address of uh, start no address no sorry just print start okay so it will print the start then we wanted to enter the nodes adjacent to start so how we can do this so for integer i is equal to 0 i less than number of vertices i plus plus so adjacent of start and i so now if is equal exactly equal to 1 so it what it means that uh, there is an edge from that node okay so I want to push that element so how can I push that element Q uh, plus pre incrementing rear so that it will increment and I will get okay the value of I so uh, if I is adjacent to start okay there is we then then our there is an H so suppose a condition I'm starting from 0 then nodes adjacent to 1 0 is again 0 then again it will search for nodes adjacent to 0 then again it will go to 1 so that should not happen because 1 is already been visited so to keep track of this we have created one visited array so whenever I, we are printing that element we just uh, what to do uh, okay visited of start is equal to 1 okay so if okay if if there is an age and also visited of i is not equal to 1 or is exactly equal to 0 okay so it is not visited okay so again the element is inserted okay so what it is doing in here is just uh, q uh, so what we have to do is here we have inserted the element into the queue so each time we enter the this loop we have to delete that element okay front plus plus so it will first give the value and then delete that element so this value I should print okay okay start now it is okay start is equal to front plus plus then uh, it will um, for this okay then again new elements are being added to the queue then again it will search for this okay and this will run I think this should do a proper output uh, let's check it okay for our this uh, array array sorry graph clear gcc graph 1.c okay there is an missed uh, syntax error I think yeah so where I have not given semicolon in 928 2829 okay okay error I have not given uh, I think it should run yeah it is running properly I think it should also give proper output uh, from okay there are no one to two two to three one to zero zero to four two to zero okay mm -hmm. edges are over oops <laughs> we are not designed the main program for that 
so for that we have to design a main program so i am get i am implementing here do while low where choice is not equal to ok so i am getting a choice also here and then print f enter ok first i have to take input ok enter 1 for bf fs ok now we have we are also designing dfs in the next video so till then just enter to to exit okay then we are getting the input scan f at person d address of the choice what choice we are taking is and then switch of that choice case one if one is entered and if two is entered simply break here uh, it also break okay then two so here i wanted to call bfs Okay, the arguments for BFS are adjacency list and start. Okay, ADJ and start. Start I have to specify here. Okay, let's take the input from the user itself. Print here, print F, and then enter the vertex from which do you wanted to start so now the user entering scan f then entering the value and that is start okay then it will call the vfs for that node for that graph that is adjacent matrix okay hope it should work fine now okay oh, yes means that semicolon okay again while okay need also here one semicolon um, clear the screen gcc graph 1.c oh, clear dot slash a dot out the number of vertices in our graph are five from one to two there is no two to three there is a node and zero to four there is a node one to zero there is a node and two to zero there is a node from minus one minus one okay total nodes are five uh, total ages are five one two three four five okay sorry i have coincident <laughs> nodes with okay, th these are ages okay sorry so now enter ok i have not printed the adjacency matrix ok uh, I have, what just i do here is enter 3 to exit and again for 3 to break this with loop and i will enter 2 for for printing yes and see matrix okay and then back so enter to so print it will call print graph so print graph is taking adjacency matrix as its argument Okay, cool so you know how the print function is working so let's jump directly to the bfs so i want bfs from which node so here mm, we have seen for it for one okay let's see it for one whether it is going correct or 
okay some problem is there i'm just i will go through it okay uh, so whenever i am searching for the adjacent node uh, i should have to mark them as visited so that's my fault okay. yes, so now it should work Notes are from one to two, two to three, one to zero, zero to four, one to two to three, one to zero, zero to four, and two to zero. Okay, minus one, minus one. Yeah. Then BFS from one. Okay, the BFS from one is one. Then nodes adjacent to one are zero and two. Okay. Then from zero there is four, and then from two there is three. Okay. Now for BFS it is working fine. I hope you understand all this program. So let's now I'll meet you in the next video.